the Russian that beat Wilder, his name is Evgeny Womanov. Six foot tall and has a hell of a right hand. And I'm about to tell you how to beat Wilder. Greetings, boxing fans. Welcome to Top Boxing for the other perspective. So this is Mr. Womanov. This is a guy that, that knocked out world champion Deontay Wilder. Um, six foot tall. You may be asking yourself, what kind of specimen knocked Deontay Wilder out? Granted, this was some time ago as an amateur, but it's still valid because, you know, you just don't change your spots just like that. Um, this guy is six foot tall, uh, orthodox fighter. Uh, but a very aggressive fighter. Uh, as you can see, um, Randy Day Productions has a whole video on his website. Uh, and you can actually see uh, most of the fight, a part of the fight, um, where Deontay Wilder was dealt with <laughs> in sort of a aggressive fashion, I would say. Uh, this young woman of had to have been something to deal with because Deontay Wilder turned pro in 2008. This guy just recently turned pro in 2016. So he must have seen Deontay Wilder on TV somewhere. It's like, wait a minute, this is a world champion? I could do this. <laughs> so he is now a professional with 14 and 0 as a record. So maybe Deontay should give him uh, another opportunity, just like he did Ortiz. Why not? I'll pay to watch that. So, uh, there is a way to beat him. As I stated earlier on the video, I'm gonna tell you how to beat him. As I said earlier, I'm gonna tell you how to beat Deontay Wilder. Okay, this is this is my opinion. Okay, so if you, if you uh, differ, please comment and, and let me know what you think uh, would happen if, uh, if someone like Joshua, for example, employed these tactics. Uh, now, given skill, le skill level, uh, matters um, and, th and this strategy that I'm about to employ. Um, if you checked out the um, Romanov um, Wilder knockout, then you'll see how Romanov uh, knocked him out. And granted, he's a different fighter today, uh, but maybe a little bit more skill than it's been because uh, it's been a while since that's happened. Um, Romanov He's a different animal. He has different skill sets. So whoever fights him, um, of course, I have to bring some of those skill set to the table. Okay. Can it be done? Yes. It's not invincible. It's been beat before. It's been knocked out before. It's been hurt many times uh, by Ortiz, by, by Stavarn, by uh, Brazil before, just before he knocked Brazil out. Uh, it's, been, it's, been, it's been shaking a lot of his fights. Okay. Uh, one, aggressiveness. If you fight him, you have to be aggressive. You can't let him get off. You can't let him dictate. You can't let him, uh, normally what I'm seeing with the last few fights that uh, Wilder's fighting, is 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 uh, is getting a little smarter, where he's setting you up more. Where he wants, what he, he's trying, especially using that lazy left, he's using that lazy jab because he wants you in a particular spot because his right hand is always cocked. He carries it low, it's always cocked, um, it's like a slang shot, right? To sling it right at the end of his um, punch is where the power is, right? So aggressiveness. Aggressiveness means coming in and coming out, you have to write your, you have to watch your range, your distance. That's the next thing. Just being aggressive doesn't mean you have to be reckless. Because what Wilder depends on is you being in the right range, distance, for that kinetic, kinetic energy. <laughs> to meet your face head on, okay? Which means it's, it could be even a worse knockout if you're coming in too aggressive to meeting that punch. It could be a devastating knockout. Like, uh, what's his name, Sp Spilka, whatever his name was? That's how he got knocked out. He was aggressive, but he was he was wild in his aggressiveness, okay? It's not to say you shouldn't be aggressive against Wilder. It's how you do it and when you do it. 
okay? He was like a dog in a corner, right? And when, when he knocked him out, <laughs> okay? He was coming in like a wild man and he just set him up. I, I saw it coming. It's like, bam, he was out, cold. So be aggressive and watch your distance and your range because he needs distance to knock you out. He's not gonna knock you out being in a phone booth. It's just not gonna happen. He's punch, he's, he's effective at distance at the right range, okay? Um, be first, be first. Get him fighting on his back foot, okay? If you got him thinking, it takes him a little longer to cock and swing. Get him on his back foot, okay? And what does that mean? You have to be the aggressor. You have to be, um, whoever has it, whoever does this also have to have, uh, I forget who it is um, that has the best earmuffs in the business, okay? Where you cannot split the guard uh, as you come in. Um, Terrence Crawford is one of those guys. When he put his guards up and walk you down like he did against Guy Velasquez, it's awesome. It's one of the tricks that you need to learn. If you can't get in any other way, weaving and bobbing like Mike Tyson, then you gotta have one of the best guards, okay? and know how to cut off the rain. So, um, smother him. Once you get inside the first five, six rounds, if it lasts that long, smother him, okay? Get your, use your chin like a wrestler. Use, the, use your forehead like a wrestler. G get up underneath his chin, okay? Put your weight on him. Let me use Joshua, if you're Joshua. Stay on him. I wouldn't come in any less than that 230 to 35 that he came in at. Don't come any lighter than that. Uh, but you need to come in in shape. You need to be able to, to cut off the rain, be aggressive, smother him. So you're gonna have to be in, in super shape to do this, especially if it lasts into the little rounds, okay? Um, those are the keys to beat him. Uh, not let not be in the right distance for him to to uh, to extend that 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 punch um, and knock you out. Where it's, where it's the most powerful at the end of that punch? Where it's the most powerful? Granted, this man got I don't know what, what is his reach. I didn't look up his reach. He has a tremendous reach, okay. And that and uh, you had to uh, the two punches. I think that would be effective against him. Is that straight right, that overhand right, and the left hook? And uh, you know, like I said. Smother him, do some body work, take those little skinny legs away. He's got skinny legs like me. Okay, take those legs away uh, uh, in, in the uh, beginning stages. Uh, hopefully take some of that um, punching power away uh, towards the end of the fight. Uh, and it might be a game of where you, you do some of this and you do a little boxing at far enough range uh, as, as you give yourself a break every now and again um, if, if it happens to go long. So... I think that's how you beat him. I think um, Joshua and some of the other heavyweights can beat him. Uh, like I said, the, the thing about him is he has that punching power and he has that right hand, that equalizer, that you could be beating him for 11 and a half rounds and find yourself on the ground and, and asking yourself what happened. Uh, just like Ortiz did, what, what just happened to me? <laughs> so, uh, I like the butt. I'm not. I'm not hating on Wilder. Uh, to me, it's a chess game. Uh, just like all these books behind me, it's just, it's just uh, it's strategy. It's uh, when it's not when you're at the top, people want to cut you down. To me, I want to see somebody solve the puzzle. That's all it is. Uh, and uh, I showed you the last guy, Mr. Romanov, that that solved the puzzle um, and how he did it in, in a way. What I saw uh, again, that was a young Wilder. Uh, but I still think a lot of the same tactics is the only way to beat them. Uh, you're not going to beat them in a boxing match. Uh, granted, he doesn't have those skills, but what I'm saying is you're not going to beat him in a match, um, boxing match because eventually he will catch up with you with that right hand. You can't escape it for 12 straight uh, rounds. Eventually, he's going to touch you. Um, and uh, what do you do when he touches you? Um, how do you minimize those... Uh, those opportunities for him. Um, and I think that's being inside, smothering him, uh, having him in his back foot, being the aggressor, and uh, getting off your own right hand. For a guy like Joshua, it's underrated. His, his right hand is, to me, just as lethal. And you saw some of his right hands against uh, Andy Ruiz. It just so happens that Andy has a hell of a champ. He took them like a champ. Maybe that's why he getting all that weight. 
for punch resistance because he sure took some right hands. I would love for him to have, uh, you know, doubled up on those right hands, but I don't think he want to get caught in those exchanges with uh, Andy. And that's what you saw. So, uh, like and subscribe. Um, comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what, uh, what strategy you think might work against them. Um, let me know which one of these strategies you think may work or may not work. Uh, again, this is Top Boxing. Uh, it's Top Buying See Me. Check out some of my other videos. Uh, hit uh, the like button and subscribe. Thanks a lot.